is a density, a density of what it will change if you ask yourself. Your negative uh, Y should have twelve in it. One of the things that Boys and Girls Clubs of America is doing is trying to take a greater responsibility for helping our kids succeed academically. It's not just about school, but the fact is in urban communities like East Palo Alto, across the country, over half the kids are dropping out of high school today. It's really a national crisis that most people in America are not aware of. So we are now taking responsibility for helping our kids not only develop life skills, but also succeed in school. And so we're working really hard at Boys and Girls Clubs Peninsula to partner very closely with schools, getting with kindergarten students going all the way through high school to succeed academically. It's um, smaller class sizes, more hands-on learning, summer instruction, longer learning days, positive role models, a culture of high expectations. It's engaging the families. Having funders like the Sobrato Family Foundation has allowed us to just try something new and hire teachers that cost more. So the Sobrato grant has been tremendous, both in terms of helping us expand the breadth of our program as well as the depth. So this year, in terms of depth, we're able to bring certified teachers to our kids in Menlo Park as well as our kids in East Palo Alto, something we hadn't done before at the clubhouses. We tested it at certain pilot sites with tremendous success. So now we're broadening that to a lot more kids and bringing that, that depth of programming. And the grant has also allowed us to bring this brand new teen center concept to where you start the clubhouse and to staff and to fill out and, and run the program on Myrtle Street.